So ZModeler got some new updates. And if you want to know the basics of ZModeler, the ZBrush for Ideation video series, the first 56 right here, you're going to see video uh, 30, 31, and 32, uh, ZModeler polygon edge and actions, edge actions, point actions, and same thing in my YouTube channel. Go to my playlist tab, new intro to ZBrush, ZBrush for Ideation, view poll playlists. This is the basics of ZBrush. And again, 30, 31, and 32. I was going to take you through all the basics of ZModeler. So if you're a little bit lost, go to those videos first. Don't yell at me in the comments. But for this new functionality, let's uh, go ahead and just uh, let's grab a, go into your tool palette here, grab anything. You just grab a cylinder, drag it on your canvas, go into edit mode, make poly mesh 3D, turn on your poly frame. And in fact, I'm going to go over here to our materials and say skin shader for so we can see this a little bit better. Now, basic ZModeler functionality, if you hover, well, first you got to get it. So B, Z, M grabs a Z modeler brush. If you hover over a face and hold down spacebar, you get polygon actions and all sorts of cool stuff. Edge actions, hover over a point, hold down spacebar, point actions. And you're going to see we got some new options, or a new option in here. So we have slice mesh and point. Under edge, we have slice mesh. And under face, we have slice mesh. So now what we can do is we can, you know, hover over a point. So you go point to point and it'll slice those points between those edges or you can go point to edge it's going to slice those all the way around you know what we'll go ahead and just close that off and now we have a an enclosed shape and you're going to see if i hover over an edge you're going to see there's a crease edges here and, and when we do the point as well there's a crease edges and then the face crease edges with those on as you're slicing you're getting a crease and there's another option if you hover over a face go to poly group you're going to see there's a fill option. So go ahead and turn this on and you're going to see some modifiers. So you're going to say stopped at creased edges or pass through creased edges, but we want them to stop at those creased edges and or stop on different poly groups. So if you have other poly groups in there, it'll stop when it hits a different poly group. So with stopped at creased edges select, if we hover over a face and just tap, it's going to fill in until it sees another creased edge. So, I mean, if you want to, you can actually go through here and hover over an edge, hold down space bar, say crease edge and you can go through here and literally just manually crease edges as you see fit and then hover over here polygroup fill boom you can fill that up or you can go over here to your geometry crease menu say run this crease with a tolerance of 45 degrees it's going to go ahead and put a crease ring around here and then you can just fill this in of course you can also go in here say polygroup flat island and because these are all flat it'll do the exact same thing and if you want to change the polygroup, just tap and then tap Alt, and that'll cycle through different colors. So a lot of different options in here, depending on uh, your desired workflow. But long story short, that's the ZModeler update. Hover over an edge, make sure you have slice mesh, hover over a point, slice, face, slice. Or if you, you like having uh, the face be your polygroup action, and you're just going to use points and edges in order to slice through your mesh and then polygroup fill stopping at creased edges so again if that's a it's a that's a brush you're going to use a lot feel free to save this out as your own z modeler brush so in fact what we can do is we have this z modeler brush we've modified if we were smart i would have gone in here to z modeler clone and cloned it off but i can go in here to brush save as if I go into C program files, pixel logic, ZBrush 2021, Z startup, brush presets, you're going to see I already have some stuff in here. We'll call this one ZM slice. So now if I close out of ZBrush, relaunch ZBrush, grab a cylinder, edit mode, make poly mesh 3D, poly frame, switch this out to skin shader 4. And if I hit the B key or go up here to my brush palette, you're going to see I now have ZM Slice loaded in. And you're going to see I also have ZM Topology. So these are Z modeler brushes that I've made for myself. So if I want, I can hold down Control Alt, tap ZM Slice, assign a hotkey, let's say Alt Z, custom hotkey assigned successfully. So now, uh, you know, I'm in my standard brush and I'm sculpting. And it's like, okay, I want to use that slice brush. Alt Z, I'm in my slice brush. And now I have slice actions available to me. So I can go through here. Slice through geo, polyfill, and I'm good to go. So instead of assigning a hotkey to just an edge action or just a point action or just a face action, you can assign a hotkey to a Z modeler brush that has all three actions in one brush. 
you can load it in on startup, assign a hotkey to it, and then you have very, very fast access to it. Now there is one more one I forgot to show you. Uh, if we go through here, and you know what, let's uh, do something different. Let's hit the comma key, let's go into tool. Let's grab that dog Z tool and hit the comma key to get out of there. So now if we hover over a point, there's a crease point or shortest path. So now you can crease in between uh, points. So if you want to like make a crease that you want to fill in uh, with poly, uh, polygroup later, you can go through here and instead of creasing those individual edges, you can say crease here, down to here, over to here, up to here, fill. So very quickly, you can just go through here, crease different sections, fill. And it's also shortest path. So if you if you wanted to see like, okay, ZRush, you decide creasing from this point here to this point here, what that path is gonna be. And it goes, okay, whoop, shoo, that's the path I think is the most correct. And I can say, you know what, let's give it a little bit of a harder test. I want it to go from here uh, over to here. And it's gonna go, okay, do, 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 and that's the shortest path. So you can actually use this Again, they just very quickly go through and divide up your mesh into different polygroups here. Again, hovering over a face and saying polygroup fill, and then using hovering over a point and saying crease shortest path, very quickly go through and start dividing that up. And of course, after this, you can go through here with your Z modeler brush, Q mesh, polygroup ball, or I mean, you can use you know Q mesh polygroup ball and pull this in or pull this out, or we can go through here and we can say inset polygroup island because these two polygroups aren't touching I can just inset just this island here and let's switch this back over to legacy so I can inset this a little bit and then switch it back to QMesh polygroup ball hold down shift and push this in along its surface normal again if you're brand new to Z modeler hit this poly, uh, playlist up Z modeler actions 31 30 31 32 it'll get you through all the basics a lot of really neat stuff you can do with Z modeler but that's the new 2021.5 Z modeler functionality.